Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I'm doing the Oracle card reading here in my car, parked uh, somewhere, uh, waiting for my daughter. <laughs> and this is the only opportunity I would have it to to do it. Um, sorry, that I'm trying to get it to be done again on a Sunday, but it's very difficult for me to do that because of family time and my weeks uh, tend to be quite busy towards the end. So here we are, what we have right now. Uh, we have three Oracle card decks today. Option one is the Chinese Oracle, option two is the Rune Oracle, and option three is the Queen of the Moon Oracle. I'm going to give you, you a chance to take a proper look at it in order to make a selection, and um, then we can get started. So for those of you who've chosen the Chinese Oracle here, uh, by Paolo uh, Barbieri, I'm going to open the box here and I'm going to give these cards a shuffle. So if you're wondering if I cleanse my cards and whether I work with them uh, just like that from the box, well, it depends. So my, my cards, um, all my cards are at an altar that I have um, and oh, I have two homes and so they're both at like a room which is like an altar room and uh, these cards uh, usually in a space which where it's cleansed. What I tend to do is I tend to work with them as I need them or as I need them for clients and I tend to clear them after I use them for clients. But if I do use them for like an oracle card reading like this, I don't always cleanse them. I might put them all out and cleanse them or leave them under the moon, uh, the full moon to be cleansed, etc. That kind of thing. So for those of you who have asked about the first deck here, which is the Chinese oracle, we're asking this week, what is it that you need to know? What is it that you've come here to hear? What is your oracle guidance as you go along? So what is it that you've come here to hear that's actually going to help you as you go along? So I'm just giving these cards a proper shuffle. And uh, we have the card, the tiger. That's here. So with this card here, I feel like uh, the one thing I'm feeling immediately as I look at it is it's it's as if there's an overpowering force, something that you can't um, that you can't actually control, something that's overpowering for you, that's stopping you, that's coming in your way, that's actually moving towards you, or that's halted you, or that's been a fear of yours your entire life, and this is an important moment in your life where you can actually shift that energy where you can actually sh you shift that energy. But the most important point about this is to acknowledge that it comes from you and not that it is um, for the, to be blamed on somebody else. So whatever you're feeling right now is a, is a sum of a result of uh, experiences that you've had and how you've responded to those experiences. And that is what influences your fear or your anxiety or whatever it is that is blocking you at this moment. And so I see that quite fully. And I feel like most of you who have come here and who are listening to this card right now have been on a journey. You've been working with yourself. You've been really trying to be the best that you can be in your lives. And then there's this one huge thing that's almost like an elephant in the room uh, that is always there it's always been there and it's now time to overcome it and um, it doesn't necessarily have to do with one person it could have manifested itself in more than one person so you might have a certain kind of relationship that you have uh, with various different people it could be people that you know or people that you don't know personally or people that you know professionally um, in some cases it might be that this is the relationship that you've had towards lovers that you've had in your life or partners that you've had in your life pre previously and it's a common thread that that exists that's just one example this could also be um, a common thread that you have towards authority so you know perhaps your parents perhaps your teachers perhaps um, some somebody in an authority position and it could mean a ver various different things but Basically, what it means is that there's one theme in your life that you need to overcome, that you actually need to work with in order to be able to to get beyond that. And the most important point of, of letting go of this, of being able to come overcome this blockage right now, what you need to know, there is... Um, so I'm actually looking at the card here. I'm actually like the cards down here. I'm just looking at it. Uh, so I look at the... Oops. I've just knocked my microphone over. Um, so, I um, so I, what I tend to do, what I look do is I, I like look at the card 
I'm not reading the book and thing. the book is here if I want to I would go ahead and read the book and then you know let you know what I think about the message uh, obviously the message is as the author intends it but I try to give you something here that is specially for you you know uh, because you could always just take a, an oracle card and just read it and so my service to you is to be able to channel something for you that is what you need to hear right now and so I am sitting here with a card in my hand I'm just looking at it so um, yes so we'll cut back to the the card so it's not so boring for you um, well, perhaps the card is also boring for you. Okay, well, what I see here is like these markings that are on the back of this woman here. It's it's like all that she's been through. It's like all the experiences that you've had that have marked you and that for, have formed you. And you're a beautiful being as a result of it. You know, it's not something that you can, you can say, okay, well, this has been ugly or this is something that actually worked against me. But rather... It's, I think what you can say is that, you know, this has made me who I am. This has been all my lessons. It's been all my gifts that I've, uh, that I've, I've gotten in the meanwhile along the way. And I've learned and I've become a different person. It's like all my badges or medals of honor as, that I've, that I've um, received while going through these different experiences. And uh, what I think is the most important point here, right, is that this thing needs to be overcome. This, this theme that you have with, uh, with particular, you know, in particular relationships, or it's ra largely a theme that you have towards yourself. So it's almost like there's something in yourself where you're not really able to see your, your true power and you are forsaking that and you're saying, well, this is not in my hands anymore. I don't have the power and I'm feeling powerless and I'm feeling overwhelmed and I don't know what to do right now. And for me, this is telling me and I also want to say that, like, for me, this is the energy right now for a lot of people. Um, but I think that what it's saying is that you need to let go of this right now. So this tiger that's walking towards you and looking at you, it's almost like reckoning with you and, and looking at you in the eye and saying, OK, well, are you going to shoo me away? Are you going to send me away or are you going to let me overpower you? What are you going to do? Are you going to identify with that part of you, which is your weakness? Or are you going to actually look me in the eye and and let me know what your boundaries are? And I think this is what is so important. And this is not to say that you need to be aggressive in these situations or, um, you know, kind of abrupt with people, but rather to understand in yourself what is your energy. Because this woman here, uh, or this elf, she only needs to understand her own worth and her, her own power and the eye contact that the tiger is making with her is actually going to be sufficient for him to be able to recognize that that energy is changed in her and then he's going to walk away. So she's not actually in danger, you know. And that's one way of looking at this card. Now, other people look at this card and may say, well, I don't see it as being as being that, you know, she he's coming towards her and that she's in danger. But rather there is, um, you know, two souls identifying with each other or she looking into a mirror of sorts. And there's various ways of reading this card, but I feel like right now, right here, this is the meaning that is important for you, that here is this tiger that is, um, it's, it represents what it is that you're afraid of. It represents a theme in your life that is something that you've created and you may have blamed others along the way for this or you might have had a million of different excuses as to why you've needed to be in this way, not why you've needed that fear, what role that fear has played in your life until now. But right now, this card here is an indication that this is the time for you to release that. This is an important time for you to, to release such things because it's standing in the way of you taking the next steps that you need to take in your life. And I feel like this is such a powerful message. And I think it's a powerful message also because this is, you know, s somehow the way in which we're going right now, the way in which we headed to. And I think it's important for you, those of you who've come to this message, that this action that you take right now is an important defining moment for you, not just for the next few weeks, but especially for the rest of your life. Like, uh, well, it's it's going to be quite significant for you in the next few months, but I feel like it's going to be a turning point for you in the rest of your life. Because in a way, when you, when you understand that this tiger here or this blockage here, what's been preventing you from being 
and your most powerful self is actually uh, a figment of your imagination. It just disappears. And then you can walk freely and you can actually go about your life exactly as you want to. And nothing is standing in the way of you. Of you. Okay, so I feel that is your message for this week. Um, I think that uh, that is the most important message here. I just want to hear if there's anything else that comes up. I want to say have confidence that, you know, the situation that you're in right now is not as bad. It's not so bad. You know, for some of you, you might be feeling that. For some of you, you might be wanting to get, come out of your situation and you're wanting to change something. But I think that it's not so bad to be exactly where you are right now. And I think the changes here need to be made not outside of you, not in terms of moving or physical move or something, you know, outside, something that's reactionary, but rather something that's internal. Something, once again, I want to go back to this uh, thing about, you know, the energy that just needs to change inside of you so that you can um, continue on your path as you need to right now. So I'm going to leave you with that message and I wish you all a lovely, lovely week as you go ahead. Um, yeah, many, many blessings to you. Lots and lots of love and um, stay safe, stay well, stay happy. And uh, I will see you next week with an Oracle card reading. So for those of you who've chosen the Rune Oracle cards here, we're asking, what is it that you've come here to hear? What is it that you need to know right now? And what is it that is going to bring you what you need right now in your life? Uh, what is the, the what is the information that you need to hear right now so that you can move forward in your life without actually having any difficulties? And pardon the sound of that train that's going by above my head. <laughs> or behind me, rather. I think this is your card here. Okay, so we have Teresa's here, right? And so in this card, Teresa's, what we see is a man here who's fighting the serpent, okay? And I think that, it, well, in the runes, this card is a thorn. So it's actually conflict. It's actually a struggle. It's actually difficulty here that this person is experiencing right now and this is in the midst of the conflict so you don't really know where it's going to lead to or how this is going to be overcome and um this question here how will it what will be the solution to it what will how will this um you know how, where will you find yourself at the end of this this is not what's important for you right now right now what's important for you is that you actually are able to stay within the state of conflict and understand what is truly going on around you right now and to be able to see the truths for what they are, to be able to, to, to identify the truths for what they are. And I want to say at this point, look back at this video at the first option because I think that they, you might find some guidance in there for you if you feel like it resonates, that is. So here, there is this person who is in the middle of conflict you have a situation where you don't know what the outcome is going to be you're in the midst of the situation you can't see the solution you can't see where this is headed to and you you have no reassurance of how it's going to end off and this card comes up to say well there is a beauty in that there's a beauty in being able to be in this moment right now and to understand the power that you have in this given moment and the power that you have comes in the form of courage and I want to say in this card here, it's the courage to be able to see where it is that you fall short, where it is that you need to take responsibility for what's happened, where it is that you need to actually see what decisions you made or what choices you made that you felt at the time that you had no choice but to do. But that has led you to this place. And this is not to say that you should give yourself a hard time or to berate yourself. But it is to say that you fully accept responsibility for the situation that you are in right now. And I think that is the first step. Because if you are here, in, if you're in this situation, if you're in this conflict, if you're in this battle, and you are, um, and you are saying, well, you know, it's not my fault that I'm in this situation. It's their fault. I didn't do anything wrong. They were horrible. Or they've done this. Or I've, you know, I did my best that I could do and I'm still in this situation. It's not me. It's the current economic climate or it's the current political situation or it's, you know, it's family politics. If, you, if you're going to be taking that line of thinking, 
then you are not fully accepting a responsibility. And for me, what this card shows is that you, when you start accepting full responsibility for why you are in the situation, okay, you completely accept responsibility for it, then you are in a position where you can actually forgive the others. And this forgiveness that you you can, if you can bring yourself to forgiving others or forgiving those who you believe are responsible for your situation, this compassion enables you to shift something in your energy and it leaves things in your favor. So things start moving or working in your favor at that point. Now, for some of you, if you're in the midst of this battle or this conflict, it's going to be very difficult for you to take my words as I give it to you and, and to be able to really take it in and to work with what I am saying here because what it's going to do is, you know, it's going to make you feel defensive. It's going to make you feel um, like you're misunderstood and that um, that this doesn't resonate with you. But I feel here that this is really resonant with those of you who are in battle right now, those of you in conflict, those of you who are in a situation where you cannot see the outcome, where you are perhaps appealing something, where you are fighting for something, where you are in a situation where you feel like you are being encouraged to fight, where you're being brought to a point where you need to fight, where you can't be silent any longer. This card is for those of you who are in that situation. This card can also be for those of you who are fighting internal battles, where you are you are struggling with something and it's, it's asking you to find your courage, to be able to face your courage and to be able to fight a little longer. So this is um, two versions of this card. I would say that what it is what is important right now is that you not focus on the outcome of the situation. It's that, but that you focus on how much of courage you have in you, and how this situation and this battle, this conflict right now, is changing you. How is it bringing out something in you? How is it unearthing you in a way that is going to bring something um, that's good for you. I apologize for all the, the background noises. There are trains and helicopters and cyclists and all kinds of people all around me <laughs> right now, all kinds of vehicles around me. And um, yes, I apologize for that, of all these sounds. I know they are quite a distraction. <sighs> yes, this person here, I see this person, this is you, okay, I see you as having a great amount of strength and a great amount of courage. And it's for you to understand that. It's for you to be able to see that in you. And to be able to understand that this um, situation right now is just something that you are experiencing at this moment and it will pass. It will be something that will come to an end at some point. But the the outcome is not known as yet. And I feel like here the card, it's almost like encouraging you to understand that the outcome might not be in your favor. It might work against you and I want you to explore what that means for you and how would you uh, accept that if you were to accept it? How would you respond to that? And to almost prepare yourself for it because I feel like that is going to be part of your journey and part of your learning. So for instance, if you've applied to go somewhere and um, for studies or for some kind of conference or something and you have not been accepted to be a part of it but you are still waiting and hoping that you will be accepted, just think about what would feel like not to be accepted for a moment and how does it make you feel because in that that feeling that you receive that fear or that panic or that feeling of being disempowered at that moment is actually what's going to be useful for you right now to identify that you have that and that it's something that you can change um, so that you can ultimately impact your outcome because I feel like you're the most important message here is stay in the moment don't look for a solution. Don't look at what the outcome is going to be. Look at how and where you need to be changing and take responsibility for where you are right now because what's going to happen here is that as you do that, as you actually go inward and listen to what really is going on and face what it is that you don't necessarily want to face, you know, there's some inconvenient truths here which you are not willing to face. And this is something that you need to respect and understand regardless of what others have told you you need to understand your contribution to the situation once you've done that and you've recognized what the pains are and what the um what the situation is oh gosh there are so many sounds around right now they are causing me to not be as focused as i need to be i do apologize for the uh, for the sounds around me once again 
so uh, what I was trying to say here is that um, if you were to focus on what the inconvenient truths are, right, if you were to look at what those are and see what reaction it brings up in you, and you were to focus and work with those emotions of that reaction that's been brought up in you, then you've already changed the situation, you've already won, you've already worked through this battle internally, and you've already come out the other side uh, already. So I feel like here a lot of work has to be done internally. And that was also a message for the option number one, which is why I said that um, you might want to go back and listen to the option number one. There might be, for some of you, there might be some something there that resonates for you. And I feel here that um, that the work to be done is, is internal right now. It's nothing that's outside. You might be also worried that you're not doing enough. Like you should be doing this or you should be doing that. Well, you you need to be taking action and you need to be more proactive. I want to say don't worry about that this week as you go along. If you feel the need to go inward and just work with yourself, if you need to be quite introverted in this week as you go along, that's okay. Um, stay with that and let that let yourself be led from within you and focus on where it is that you need to overcome whatever is um, your own whatever is in your blind spot, whatever it is that you're not willing to look at or afraid to look at or um, not wanting to recognize and, and, and take responsibility here. I think that is the most important thing here. I feel like as I say that, some of you might be so irritated. I can just see the dislikes right now. When you accept responsibility completely for where you are in a given situation, not for what others are doing, or for where other things uh, uh, lie or for, for the status of other people, but just for yourself, that is a huge part in changing the energy in your favor and actually being able to work with yourself and coming to peace with yourself and growing up and maturing and being part of what it is that you need to have in your life right now. So I think that um, even though that, that comment, you know, um, take responsibility might be um, incendiary to some of you, I think that it's important for you to, to stay with that this week and see what it really means for you. All right. So um, that's it for me, uh, for those of you who've chosen the option of the runes. I hope that, um, the rune oracle, that is, I hope that this has helped you and um, that as you go along in this week, that it's actually, you are going to be able to overcome this. And I feel like, once again, as I was saying, this battle is really an internal battle. And I think it's something that you can overcome. And I think as you do so, you're going to find yourself on the other side of this. And it's actually going to work in your favor. All right. So I'm wishing you all very well and um, a wonderful week ahead. Uh, stay safe. Be blessed. And um, yes, many blessings to you all. Okay. All right. So for those of you who have chosen the Queen of the Moon Oracle here, we are asking, what is it that you need to hear as you come to this reading today? What have you come here to hear at this moment? And we have the card Peace. Oh, there it is here. So for those of you who have chosen the, the third option here, we have Waning Crescent 5 Peace and the number of the card is 28. So I want to say here that for some of you, for most of you, actually about 40% of you, I would say the, uh, the, the card here is a confirmation of the peace that you have already attained, of the space that you've come through, of how far you've come in order to be able to be at this space. And I think that uh, for the rest of you, uh, this card is talking about the peace that is about to come or the, the peace that you can actually achieve by actually allowing yourself to understand what is really going on here. So it's about going inside, meditating and understanding that it is all connected, that the situation that you find yourself in is not fragmented and that you are at this moment a part of everything that exists at right now. You are part of every atom in this world and this and the uni all the universes that come together. You're part of an en of energy consciousness that exists across that goes across all species and beings and all types of elements in this world. And then there's something about that. There's something about when you connect those dots here that make me feel like 
if you do that, if you participate in meditation during this week, that you'll actually come to the point where you recognize that this is, it's all okay exactly as it is, that there isn't something to be worried about. This week calls for you um, an opportunity to be truly blissful, truly at peace with yourself in ways that perhaps you've not yet experienced or perhaps you've not experienced for a very long time. And it's this lightness that occupies this that makes you makes you feel like you can actually let go of things and that you don't need to be engaged in anything right now, that you don't need to be engaged in deep introspection or you don't need to be engaged in any kind of huge move outside of yourself, but rather to be able to simply let go, let go of everything and simply connect. If you had to let go of all the things that you need to do right now, all the things that you've imagined are or that are your obligations or that are actually your obligations and actually just stay for one moment and feel connected to all that is. If you had to do that, that is where you will find your peace and this is where what this week is talking about. I feel that this is an important way in which to refuel, in which to recharge, in which to rejuvenate and to give your, your body the chance to be able to go back into its stillness and to be able to reconnect. I feel here there's also a message of being able to reconnect to that which was for you. So pick a moment in your life which was a really important moment in your life which which had lots of memories, good memories, as well as not so good memories. But a year that's been really something that's um, where there's been great change in your life. And I want you to look back at that and actually feel how far you've come, but also feel about the peace that you've attained since then and feel the peace that you attained then in itself. What did you connect to at that time? Which deity or which form of divinity did you connect to at that time? Which part of yourself did you connect to at that time? And what gave you that feeling of being good? And I want you to also consider actually um, doing that this week as you go along, just really um, tapping into that space of peace and um, and divinity and not divinity in something that's grand but rather something that's very simple and very peaceful and really a part of who you are something that's simple and and to the point and not actually asking for anything else but being right now in this moment and connecting to all that is around you so this is a message that i feel it's so it's such a simple message and you know, very often I find that the option number three is so different from the options number one and two. And I would really appreciate it if some of you could tell me if you actually do choose the option number three and if it's something that you actually, you know, you go for this card and if it resonates. Um, because very often when I'm reading this card, it almost feels like such a different energy compared to a lot of the other energy that comes to my channel. And it's... Um, it's a very much a lighter energy, I have to say, and this card also reflects that. Very often it is that way, not always, but very often. I feel here that, that there's an innocence, there's a simplicity to this feeling, and there's nothing hectic, there's nothing chaotic, there's nothing complicated, there's nothing that's built upon. It's very basic, it's very elemental, it feels elemental to me. As in like, you know, rocks and stones and sand and just very basic, like breaking down to basics and, and bringing yourself there. And I think what, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say here is, is just kind of releasing everything as you go inward is actually going to allow you to experience something that's really magnificent during this week and actually going to help you, um, not just in terms of your own well-being and your own healing but also help you to bring healing to others in this world so if you are having difficulty with what i'm talking about here and you are finding it difficult to go inward then i would say try to do it as a way in which you are sending healing and doing prayers in, into the world uh, for the world and and see if that resonates and see if that actually brings you something that um that is actually um, you know, more resonant with you or makes you feel like you've made progress as far as this is concerned or it's actually helped you. And the way in which to do that is simply to sit down and close your eyes and just ask for there, be to, there to be light over the world and all that is around you, for there to be light 
and for there to be wellness, for there to be, for the suffering of people to be relieved and for all to have um, something to eat as well as clean drinking water and for everyone who's cold right now to feel well and warm for all of those who are dying from the heat to have a bit of relief from it and you can go on and and think about it in that way that's a very very basic form of prayer but i think that is you know that is a one way to start and of course you can work on it as you would like and make it more individualized and and make it your own obviously so i want to say that there's i don't think there's anything more here aside from the fact that this week as you go along try to connect to your peace try to connect to that part of you which is connected to all that's around you um, in a higher form or in a in a very basic form like an elemental form and recognize that you have this power and you have the strength and you have this uh, p ability to be able to create peace in your life for you at any given moment of time as you go along and I think that this week it's going to be easier for you to be able to do that than it has been in the other weeks and I wouldn't want to wish you good luck with that as you go along um, I think that also what's here is that uh, it's almost saying that you know there's a lot of things going on around you there are a lot of explosions there's a lot of fire there's a lot of uh, crazy things going on around you but right now you can actually just go inward and create a bubble for yourself and stay in that and be protected from it an energetic bubble and just be able to maintain your own vibration and not allow any of what's going on outside of you to bombard you and um, yeah leave whatever is bombastic outside of your your circle of peace right now and that's all that matters for you at this moment so I think that is your message as you uh, go along in the week and uh, I hope that helps you I hope that um, that yeah I hope that this message has been useful and that um, you can have this peace as you go along in this week i feel like there's still something more that i need to say here but i can't figure out what it is so forgive me if i if this card hasn't completely resonated with you or you've come here to hear something and you haven't gotten the message um i feel like if you have come here to listen to something and this card hasn't been what you need to hear then go back listen just pick any one of my pick a card readings the, the weekly oracle readings so you you go under the playlist of oracle card readings and then you can just um pick see any one of them look at the thumbnail and see which one resonates with you and go in there and just pick one and um, you'll find a message that you need and you can ob obviously do that at any time um that you'd like um the oracle card readings that i've done over the last year and a half or um yeah almost almost two years uh, are actually a huge resource for people to just be able to gain peace and to be able to gain um, some kind of guidance in their lives as they go along and it's not it's not um, you know restricted to a particular time it's actually timeless almost all my messages are aside from the energy forecasts that I do all right so I hope that's been useful I hope that's been helpful and I'm wishing you a fabulous week as you go along stay safe Stay blessed, stay healthy, and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.